Hey, and welcome. In this third tutorial we are going to check things in an existing track. I'm using the circuit of the America for this example, because it's a nice case with some common mistakes. Maybe mistakes is a big word, but there is room for improvement. But first some explanation on the material editor. If you click on the checker ball it opens the material library. Here you can see all materials used in your scene. There are a lot of materials. But to make things a bit more easy you can select an object in the scene and click on get mats from selected. This will shorten the list to only the selected object. Transparent objects are hard to select. But you can select objects in the select meshes window and click OK. Another useful trick is to select objects with a common material. Open a material and open the select meshes window. Make sure you deselect everything first. Then click on, from mat. A third window is the mesh properties window, here you can edit object and instance properties. You can also select multiple objects and give them the same properties. The last window is the reflection window, it contains the reflection mappings, ref map O for car reflections and reflect ed env for wet road reflections. So let's get started. First thing to improve is MIP map bias, you can read all about it in the rfactor2 wiki. You can open the rfactor2 wiki within gjed by clicking on the question mark. So it comes basically down to set MIP map bias from all texture stages from all shaders to zero and start from there. So open the material library and open the first shader and open the first texture slot. At the bottom you see MIP mapping, check if auto levels is ticked and trilinear is ticked. This will make sure the texture will be filtered with the user defined texture filtering in game settings. Then set MIP bias to zero. Click on the next arrow to go to the next texture slot and do the same. If all is ok for this shader we can move up and go to the next shader. Click on the first texture slot and check the MIP mapping filtering and the MIP bias. I know it's going to be a job of a million clicks, but you can do it within an hour. A second thing we can improve are the fences and its transparency. There are two types of transparency. One is with the alpha blend, source alpha to inverse source alpha. But this is for semi-transparent or see-through textures and it is resource intensive. Second is the alpha test color. It will use the alpha channel to mask or cut out parts of the textures you don't want to be rendered. This is what we need. We just want to cut out the holes in the fence. First we are going to set the alpha blend back to default, 1 to 0. We can see one of the problems with source alpha blending, that is texture sorting. The textures behind the fence are rendered through the fence. My guess is that that other texture has source alpha blending too. To display the texture with the default 1 to 0 we need to reopen GJet. Save the G-Environment file and close GJet. Open GJet and the project again. Now the fence texture will appear correctly with the 1 to 0 blending. Now we can apply the alpha test color. I think the color picker behind the alpha test color is a leftover from our factor 1, but it doesn't do anything. With pixel blend you can fine tune the thickness of the fence. 
Texture filtering, by default tick auto levels and tick trilinear and set MIP map to zero. At the top there is a tick box to not reduce details. Untick it. Don't know its purpose. But I think we don't need it. To display the fence correctly we need to reload the scene again. Save the G environment file and close GJet. Open GJet and the project again. Now the fences are rendered correctly with no jaggies, and as a bonus, it's better for your FPS. Now you can check all shaders for source alpha blending and apply the alpha test color. A common practice is to use source alpha blending only if there is a solid texture behind it, like track lines decals on the asphalt. You can always check at Joesville and see what they did. And there's some info about alpha sorting in the R Factor 2 wiki. We have now covered two difficult but commonly made mistakes. Maybe mistakes is still a big word. Have fun.